In this video, we're going to add a fade track so that we can uh, go from black to fade in to our camera. Uh, let me click this camera. You can fade into our camera and you can fade out. Also, a quick note, if you want a, a higher res view of what this preview of what this is looking like instead of down here, you can always, uh, I'm gonna show you this, but I would just say be a little careful. Right here, this camera establishing shot, if you click this little button here, what this is saying is lock your um, to select the viewport. Maybe that's not what we want, hold on. No, that is what we want, okay. Um, so if you click this button on a camera track, when we play, it will actually preview that in your viewport. Now, the reason why I caution you here is just make sure that you don't move this around after, right? Like what I just did, um, because that will then move your camera. So make sure that you always unlock that. Uh, and you'll see what the, why that's a problem. So I just did a couple undos. Um, I'm, you know, just be aware of that if you use this locking track, but I think this is good enough to get my overall view, so I'm not gonna even worry about it. Um, just double check that you didn't, <laughs> or that I didn't mess anything up. Looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> now we want to add our fade track. This is, I believe, called a fade track. Um, if we go here in our sequencer, if you ever lose track of this, you can uh, always just double click it, I think, in the game view. So this is not the one we want. This is my other one. This is the one we want. You can either double click it or, um, or maybe even you have to double click it down here, save it. But it should pop up in your sequencer window. So just be aware of that. Now I'm going to add a fade track. So once you have this open and you've previewed this and you know what that's looking like, uh, make sure I click back on my camera right there. <clears throat> click on track and you go down to fade track. Click that. Um, by default, there's not gonna be anything, right? It's gonna be zero opacity, but if we turn it to one, watch what happens. I'm gonna change this value to one. Everything is dark, including inside of my viewport. And that's gonna be kind of scary at first, but it, it is kind of what we want. It's just something to be aware of. If, if you have your time marker set somewhere in your animation and, um, and you're moving around the scene trying to do stuff, it could be a little bit confusing. So just know you may have to move this to a point where your fade track is not you know, fully opaque. I'll show you what I mean. Um, from zero seconds, I want this to be fully opaque, but let's say it right around, let's do a fairly quick fade. We'll go to, about one second. Uh, again, actually go to zero seconds, add your initial keyframe, which put it to one and say at one second, or sorry, at zero seconds, I want this to be fully opaque. So one, <clears throat> add your keyframe. At one second, I want this to be zero. So fully transparent, you can preview that. So it'll look like that. You'll see how that looks a little nicer. It's kind of subtle, but, um, even if you made that shorter, could. At two seconds, I still want it to be zero. So um, what I did is I just put in, manually put in the value and it'll add that keyframe. Or you can just hit the keyframe button. At two seconds, I want it to be zero. And then I want it to start fading to three seconds. I want it to be one. All right, so I can preview what that looks like. And this is what I was referring to. Um, if, if Let's say I have this at zero and then I try to move around my scene. You see, it, like this animation is kind of screwing up my viewport. You know, maybe I put it in right here and then I start balancing. I'm like, why is it so dark? Let's turn up my lights. And that could be pretty bad. So just be aware of that and just watch out for that. Um, okay, so that's fine. Fade out. And the last thing is just sometimes um, this is this is a trick. Uh, you may not need this, you may. Sometimes I like to put a fade back like right after. Um, we'll come back to this and see if we even need this. Uh, so I'm just gonna let this sit for now. I'm gonna zoom in, make sure I fix this. But now we have our fade track and we should be able to preview that and click back on my establishing shot right there. Zoom in, uh, hold control right mouse button, hold control, middle mouse, get this where I want it. 
And it may not show the, the fade in, fade out on our, um, our camera right there. But it should be good. If not, we'll, we'll fix it later. But um, make sure that you have your fade working how you want. 